the weird rise of AI in the music industry, discussing the implications for artists and listeners, and the potential for AI to revolutionize the industry. How AI has changed the music industry. We're looking at the various uses of artificial intelligence in the music industry, including production, remixing, personalized soundtracks, and voice synthesis. So, there's been a lot of hype and excitement around artificial intelligence in the music industry. It seems like AI is everywhere these days, but when it comes to music, there's a lot of mixed feelings. Some people are worried about the impact of AI on artistry and fandom, while others are trying to figure out how to protect artists, copyrights, and revenue streams. That's right, Samantha. But not all AI in music is about creating fake artists or voices. In fact, there are many uses of AI that are a lot less freaky. One example is what Paul McCartney recently talked about. He mentioned using AI to create the final Beatles song with vocals from the late John Lennon. But he clarified that nothing artificial or synthetic has been created. Instead, he's using AI to clean up an old recording made by the bandmates while they were still alive. Exactly. AI can be used in many different ways in the music industry. One of the ways it's already making an impact is in production. Thanks to AI-driven technology, it's becoming easier for aspiring artists to create professional sounding music. Apps like Boomi and BandLab SongStarter allow users to generate instrumentals in seconds and even generate lyrics based on specific inputs. It's like a creative nudge in the right direction for those experiencing writer's block. And AI isn't just about creating music, it's also about breaking it down. AI technology can separate songs into their component parts, known as stems. This is useful for things like movie soundtracks or commercials, where specific elements of a song might be needed. Artists and rights holders can now access their stems even if they've been lost over time or were never isolated in the first place. Another interesting use of AI in music is personalized soundtracks. Startups are using AI to create music that adapts in real time to underscore actions in video games, workouts, and even Snapchat filters. It's like having a soundtrack that listens to you and responds to your needs. It's a really cool way to enhance the user experience. Lastly, some songwriters and publishers are experimenting with AI voice synthesis technology to help them pitch their compositions to top-tier artists. This allows them to show what a singer might sound like on a track before even recording it. It's a cheaper and more exact alternative to hiring demo singers with similar voices. But it does raise concerns about potential job loss and the fear of artists being replaced by AI. Do us a favor and please hit subscribe and maybe even tell a friend. Now let's keep the discussion going. Taking a look at the weird rise of AI in the music industry, discussing the implications for artists and listeners, including voice cloning technology, legal issues, and the potential for AI to revolutionize the industry. Let's start by talking about Benoit Cara, an artist who became fascinated with AI music composition tools while working at Sony's computer science laboratory. He used AI software called Flow Machines to generate new compositions based on jazz standards, resulting in a genuinely odd and haunting song called Ballad of the Shadow. Five years later, AI and music has become a hot topic, especially due to voice cloning technology. Researchers have developed tools that can transform one voice into another, leading to the rise of cover songs on platforms like TikTok. However, it's important to note that full, convincing pop songs with vocals and lyrics are still not possible with AI alone due to the complexity involved. One major breakthrough hit in voice cloning came in April 2023 with the song Heart on My Sleeve by Ghostwriter977. Although the song was mistakenly labeled as AI-generated, it was actually written, produced, and sung entirely by human. The only AI intervention was the transformation of vocals into the voices of Drake and The Weeknd. The article discusses the controversy and legal issues surrounding voice cloning technology. Some view it as unimpressive or even racist, while others see potential for monetization and new possibilities. Elvis Presley Enterprises, for example, sees an opportunity to allow fans to sing Elvis songs karaoke style with Elvis' own voice. Grimes, an artist known for her experimental approach, has allowed unlimited use of digital clones of her voice. She splits any revenue 50-50 with users who record songs using her voice. This raises questions about copyright and the future of AI-assisted music creation. 
There's talk of monitoring and monetizing voice cloned songs, as well as the potential for artists to use AI clones of their own voices during live performances. There are different perspectives on the impact of AI in music. Some believe it will enhance the creative process, while others worry about the loss of human artistry and the proliferation of low-quality content. The major labels are concerned about being drowned out by an influx of AI-generated music and functional content like white noise. Despite the advancements in AI music, there are still limitations and challenges to overcome. AI can't replicate the magic and surprise of truly innovative human artistry. As one AI researcher points out, the argument that all musical possibilities have been exhausted has been proven wrong time and time again throughout history. The future of AI in music remains uncertain, but it's clear that it will continue to shape and redefine the industry. For even more great AI dope, click on this next video here.